The white picket fence, the manicured lawn, all are signs of a movement that began 65 years ago when people started moving out of the city. Right, the Minnesota History Center's new exhibit, Suburbia, looks at that and what many historians consider one of the most important events in U.S. history. Here you see the average normal suburban housewife in one of her daily routine tasks, preparing breakfast for her husband. That's why you end the day with a cocktail. Exactly. So you're really seeing a sense of security, a sense of optimism, really built into these suburbs. And that's why we call it suburbia, because it really does kind of encapsulate something of an American dream. Wow, walking in here remind, reminds me of my aunt's house. Yeah, I feel like June Cleaver. I need an apron, <laughs> my hair up in that little bun. You could probably make an apron out of those <laughs> curtains. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> So we spend a lot of time talking about what are suburbs like today and what do millennials think? You know, what is the next generation going to think about the suburbs? Is that Sergeant Bilko? Mm -hmm. Oh, this was local, Dave Moore, the Dave Moore Show. On at 1120 on the Big Four. And you move from there into a section that I think might surprise people, and that's a section on Southdale. I think a lot of people maybe don't realize the historic significance of Southdale. And so we brought that to the forefront in this exhibit. I remember this because we'd always park in the same lot. So you'd remember where you park by some little animal that was on a pole above. You'd be like, oh, I parked in Raccoon, and I have parked in Raccoon. <laughs> I don't know if it will surprise people, but I think it'll enlighten people to know that a lot of the concerns we have today about suburbs have been there since the start. And that picture is a well-known suburb just south of the Twin Cities, or Minneapolis. Right. Richfield. Richfield. One of the oldest suburbs of it, the metro area. So cows in an open field next to new homes going up. It was it was very, very cool. It was cool. Uh, whether you grew up in the suburbs or not, a lot of nostalgia there. It opens today at 10 o'clock. Tickets are 11 bucks for adults, $6 for kids, and we have all the information on our website at WCCO.com. Definitely worth a visit.